Hey guys, it's Michael. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In the last video, I did uh, like a list, a shoe wish list. And that first video was a part one. And this video is going to be the part two of my shoe wish list. So let's go ahead and get started. The first pair of shoes that I'm going to be talking about in this part two of my shoe wish list are going to be those infamous Prada boots. I know you all have seen them before and I've never seen not many people wear them probably since they're so expensive but anyway the boots are by Prada and they have like a pocket on the boot or like a little I guess you call it a pocket I'm not really sure what it's called but anyway they're like regular leather tactical boots so uh they probably be better worn during the winter probably could be used as snow boots or something like that but I'd wear them during the summer and I'd probably if I wore them with pants which I probably would because I feel like Sometimes with boots and sweatpants, you look like you're in the army if you do that. It kind of has to be worn a specific way to avoid that. But majority of the time, I feel like you'd look like a soldier. But <laughs> anyway, with these boots, I feel like I'd probably wear them with like jeans cuffed up or something like that. So you can see the pocket because I feel like if you just wear it and the pocket's covered, it defeats the purpose of the whole boot. But anyway, I would love these Prada boots. I love them so much and I can't wait to get them some time in the future. Now on to the next pairs of shoes that I'm going to want and I'm probably going to be doing these in pairs like how I did the last time since a lot of the shoes are basically like different versions of the same one. But for this one, for the second one on the part two of the shoe wish list, I would love the off-white Jordans. I already have one pair. I have the blue UNC off-white Jordans, but now I'd want the, the all-white pair. Well, it's kind of like white and off-white, but anyway, and the like the Chicago version. Uh, the off-white uh, Jordans and I just love the off-white Jordans I like how I don't know they have like a worn look to them but they also look new at the same time since it has like a dinginess or something to it and they just look very stylish I like how it has the writing on it too you know how off-white always has that writing on it when it when they do a collab with Nike and I just pretty much love any shoe <laughs> that off-white does with Nike and not even just because it's trendy to like it, it actually is a good design in my opinion. I really don't care for everything uh, Virgil Abloh does with Off-White. You know, some of the shoes that he just does with his own specific brand is just a little, not my style, but the collabs with Nike are really good, I'd say, and stylish in my opinion. Now the third pair of shoes that I want for my wish list, and this is another boot again, but they're the Rick Owens collab with Doc Martens and I love wearing my Doc Martens all the time and the Rick Owens collab just throws in something new and it kind of has the same element that Off-White does with their dunks, you know, with like the extra shoelace on top of the shoe that really has nothing to do with how the shoe fits. But anyway, the <laughs> Rick Owens one has that extra, I guess it's a shoelace or something, on top of the boot and it like goes up and wraps around just the same as those Rick Owens high tops uh, sneakers too that I've seen before. And I also want those too, so that's going to be the next pair of shoes. Those Rick Owens high top sneakers, they're like a replacement. I'd say they're like a higher end Converse. I know they're kind of similar in design. Well, very similar, not kind of. Very similar in design, and I would really wear those a lot instead of Converse. Just because they seem to look a lot better. Well, they do look a lot better, and they're way more stylish in my opinion than Converse. Even though Converse are like that very classic shoe, so I'd keep wearing those, but... The Rick Owens ones just are a lot better, in my opinion. And now the fourth pair of shoes, well, kind of fifth since those last two were thrown together, but the next pair of shoes that I would love to have are the off-white Air Force Ones, just the plain all-white ones. And because I know, I think there's a like a lime green one and a blue one, and I think, but I just want the all-white one. The white one just seems pretty cool, like very cool to me. And like the Nike check is some like metallic like material like kind of sparkly or something not really sure but i've never seen the shoes up close in person i've only seen them in pictures and stuff and on you know various websites and what else but i just think that is a nice twist to like such a classic shoe you know the air force ones i think everyone should have a pair of air force ones because they're just really they're like a very classic like i said just classic and go with anything you have on well basically anything you have on depends on what you're wearing but there's just a nice twist and it could really just be a add an extra boost I'd say to such a simple shoe that everyone wears 
And now the last pair of shoes that I'm going to be talking about for my shoe wish list to conclude part two will be the Dior uh, high top sneakers. I, they basically look like Converse, but I don't think they're called Converse, but the Dior high top sneaker, which has like the monogram of Dior all over it. And I just think these look really cool. They're basically another, I'd say like switch up similar to those off-white Air Force Ones. This is just another way of having something that's so classic and similar, but have, like adding a twist to it. So you, if you don't want to be that one that, you know, wears something that everyone else wears, you want to have something different. I think those Dior Converse and the Off-White Air Force Ones are just a great way to do that. And these just are something very different. And since they're designer, you know, they're obviously going to be a lot more than the uh, regular Converse. Because I only have the white Converse and the black Converse. And this is just something else to add just to, well, not converse since these aren't technically converse they're just a high top sneaker but anyway <laughs> these would be like another pair to add i'd say i also want like brown converse too but that can wait but anyway i think these dior high top sneakers will be very nice to add to my high top shoe collection and that is all i have for you guys regarding my shoe wish list i hope you all enjoyed and if you guys have any shoes out there that you would love to get some time in the future just comment it down below don't forget to follow me on instagram and subscribe to my youtube and i'll see you all in the next video bye